Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code Zerk at checkout for 10% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we're going to be doing a game changer bundle for my birthday. Now of course later today at 4pm I believe they're going to be releasing something. We don't know what exactly it is but I have a little deal for you guys. So as you guys already know, you may not know this as well, I did actually release some merch over on Teespring. A link will be in the description, top of the description, if you guys can go check it out. It's some Let's Go Man merch. I'm really excited about it. I bought a bunch of it myself, of course. Bought a mug, some sweatshirts, some shirts. It's going to be really awesome. But if you want to check it out, link's in the description. I literally made everything about as cheap as you possibly could. I'm going to make like no money off of it. I don't really care to make money off of it. All I wanted to do is provide you guys some good merch that a lot of you hopefully can go ahead and afford if you want to support the channel. But also with that... We have a game changer bundle for today. So if you guys can go ahead and get, I usually ask for a thousand likes, right? For those of you that don't know, I turned 20 today. I know I look 13. I turned 20 today. Might be surprising to you guys. So I usually ask for a thousand likes. I don't know if we can get 2,000. 2,000 is a stretch, okay? If we can get 1,500 likes on this video, it's got, I know it's a lot. 1500 likes in this video no matter what comes out at 4 p.m. It can be a single bundle of a hundred dollars. I'll buy it It can be a bundle and then some other stuff uh, 10 million dollars worth whatever it is. I'll buy it. Whatever it is. I'll buy it I'll open up the patch for you guys if it's a blitz event, which is something I think it could potentially be I'll load up as many points as I possibly need and I will get every single blitz pack for you guys If you get 1500 likes in this video so smack that like button and of course hit that someone if you guys are not new to the channel. I do want to say thank you guys very, very much though. You guys have been destroying the like button and absolutely killing all of the goals that I've set before. And we are now over 86,000 subscribers. So seriously, thank you guys very much for that. But we have 10 game changer packs to get into and an 84 plus overall elite player pack topper. Let's get right into it. You guys already know. Limited time Devontae Adams, limited time Desmond Trufant, both of those are currently in packs so well, there are some pretty good pulls that we could get here as that first game changer pack is not gonna be very good and you're getting nothing but five gold players we need to at least get some elites here now i decided to do the game changers over doing the clutch packs hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me in the butt as the 80 overall on adam can sue there and a bunch of gold players as well my first thing i'd rather do the game changers because you know you get the 84 plus elite player topper that can be really saving here as we get 80 overall Golden Tate. Of course, with the clutch packs, you're not guaranteed anything from those either. You're just guaranteed to get at least an elite every single pack, which so far, we're doing pretty solid with. 81 overall Alshon Jeffrey there. 77. Can we get a double elite? We can't get a double elite, but we did get a couple of gold packs there. We'll back out here and see if we can actually get something glitchy. We have six more game changer packs remaining. We got to end it off good, though. We, we, we got to get something glitchy. Flashback. Okay. 87 Adamakin Sue. Oh. I'm literally looking right at his name. I'm looking right at him. Okay. <laughs> I know it's Gerald McCoy. Why did I say Ndamukong Sue? We got a flashback Gerald McCoy. Though. I don't know why I wasn't excited for that. But yeah, that's an 87 overall poll. That's a very, very good poll. I think Gerald McCoy is like 90K. So that's actually a really, really good poll right there. 87 overall. It's a double lead pack with 80 overall James Devlin. I will definitely take that. So Gerald McCoy... Why did I think it was a Dominican Sue? I know Sue is on the Bucks now, and I just pulled Sue, so he must have been in my mind for some reason. On to the last five game trigger packs, though. I, I don't know why I call that man a Dominican Sue. Next game trigger pack here. Give me something glitchy. Unfortunately, it's going to be five golds, and not very good golds. I mean, Andy Dolan's probably like four or five K. That's a solid pack, I guess. Not really, but a solid gold pull. Next game trigger pack. Where the Elite's at? Give me a limited time pull. 81 TJ Watt, not the Watt that I actually want to get. We also get a 76 Tyler Higby and a 75 Dark Keys Denard. Next game changer pack. What are we going to get? Elites, where you at? 81 Akeem Mix. That is not what we want to get. What are you going to get a Kenyon Drake, which I actually sold this man for like 45K? <laughs> I doubt he's going for that much anymore. Final two regular game changer packs here. Where are the Elites at? 
Power up player, okay. That Dave Bakhtiari, okay. So not too good. And final game changer pack. Come on. Where are the elites at? A mutt superstar, and not even elite at that. So we really ended off those game changer packs with absolute bunts. Now, I don't think that was good enough. So unless we get something crazy out of this topper here, I think we're going to go ahead. I'm not going to say we're going to open up more games in your packs. But we might do another big pack opening here with some get-a-go players. We might throw in like another 50 get a goals because I just don't feel like this pack opening was good enough. So make sure you guys smack the like button. 84 plus elite player pack. What are we going to get? Can we get a full legend? It's not going to be a full legend. Dang, man. Okay. So everyone that keeps commenting saying that my pack look is insane, especially with the toppers, that was a terrible birthday pack look. Yeah, thank you very much. Happy birthday to me. That was an awful bundle. So, yes, we are going to go ahead. We'll throw some get a golds on top of this as well. And you guys can see, that was bad. We got Jerry McCoy, which Jerry McCoy is, you know, 95K. So that's a solid pull. But we've really got an 84, and then the rest of the bundle was absolutely awful. That is the worst game changer bundle I've probably seen. We didn't even make 200k off that. That was absolutely terrible. But now let's go ahead, and I guess we'll do. You know what? Let's do 25 get a golds. Well, if the game changer packs aren't gonna be any good to me, hopefully these get a gold player packs will do something for me. Let's see if we can get a, a glitchy pull here. We get a 73 overall, Blake Jarman. Of course, you guys probably have seen the Signature Series animation by now. It's definitely not that. Okay, 85 Toronto Armstead. I did not expect that. That's a solid pull right there. I think he's going for like 40k, I want to say. So right there pays for literally like 10 of these packs already. And we still have 23 packs remaining. Get a gold starting off way better than the Game Changer packs even did. We get a 72 overall, Dwayne Haskins right there, which I have to say, I watched very little preseason football. What I have, though, Daniel Jones. He's looked pretty dang solid. It seems like every time that I turn the Giants game, he's actually in the game, and he's made some pretty incredible throws. We actually get a lead player here. 84 Michael Pierce. I'll take that. He's got 83 block hitting, 87 strength. Maybe we should have just opened up a bunch of get -a golds instead of doing the game changer bundle because this is starting off way, way better. 81 Xavier Rhodes. Okay, get a gold player packs are apparently the move today. Next, get a gold. It's going to be a gold player, but it's going to be a 76 overall. Zach Cunningham. Can we get like an 87 or 88 overall pull? That'd be incredible if we get a gold player pack. We can get a 72 Josh Adams. Where are the elites at? I want to keep this streak going. 72 overall. Wendell Smart. I don't want 72 running backs. I want not Calais Campbell. Calais Campbell power up. Not bad. I'll take a Tyreek Hill power up. I'll take a Tyreek Hill. I'll take a Patrick Mahomes. Uh, I'll take a Des Bryant 99 overall card. You guys know I'd love to see a Des Bryant. If we end up getting, okay, that's a stretch. But if we end up getting a Des Bryant later today, I pay a million coins for Des. I don't care. If he's if he's actually like a 91 overall card, I don't understand why we didn't get an upgrade for him last year because he did sign with the Saints. Yes, I know he got injured, but feels like we should have got an upgrade for him. 73 overall John Simon right there. Where these elites at? Now they're just kind of disappearing. 74 overall Ricky Seals-Jones. We got to get some more at least to end this off, man. Come on. Throw me a bony, eh? 74 overall, Marcus Hunt. We have eight final packs. It started off really good. It started off really, really hot. We get a 73 overall, Quincy Wilson. But I guess it have to start off hot. It has to end off on a bad note. We get a 72 overall, BJ Finney. Really elite, CA. Eh? Not going to give me like a power-up player, though. 70 overall, Rashid. All right, well, hopefully whatever is out at 4 p.m. is a surprise birthday party for me. As you get 73 overall, Devin Bush. A guy I think could potentially get a team of the week card is definitely Devin Bush and, of course, Daniel Jones. 75, Darquez Denard. Darquez Denard, I believe, is actually how you say it. We get another gold. Jakeem Grant. This is not ending off well. Is this the final pack? It's not, but it's going to be a gold player, and it's going to be 71, Jerron Brown, and I'm pretty sure this is probably the final get a gold. It is... They ended me off with that. How do we start off with 25 get golds being so hot and then turning into that hot garbage there at the end? So recapping that, that was not good. 25 get golds we ended up pulling ourselves one power up and three elites. All three elites came within the first seven packs. That's bad. And then the final 18 packs, no elites at all. 
So we got Toron Armstead, which he is actually going for about 50,000 coins right there. So that's not bad. We spent 250k on the packs, though. Or no, we spent 125k plus 15k. That's going to be 65,000 coins. And then we also got Michael Pierce, which he's currently going for about 40. So really, 105k. And we also got a power of Gladys Gamble. Did we make our coins back? Yeah, we, we most definitely did because there's also players like, you know, the Gold Dolphin, which he's currently going for 3,000 coins. Uh, there's also the Gold Bangle, of course, Darkeez Denard, which he's currently going for about 3,000 coins. So, yeah, we definitely made our coins back, but this wasn't the flashiest way to go ahead and do it. So, that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Unfortunately, the Game Changer Bundle was not that great. And also, get a gold. Nothing too special. But if you guys give this video 1,500 likes, whatever drops later today at 4 p.m., I'll have a video add-on, of course. And then right after that, I'll make a video doing whatever bundle is out, whatever packs are out. I don't really care. Whatever it's going to be, I'll open the packs. And if we don't happen to get a bundle for today, then tomorrow when we get Legends, I'll open a bundle for you guys in the morning, of course. Make sure you guys check out the merch. Link is in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.